Welcome to the 2014 World Juggling Federation Overall Championship from SkillCon. Over the course of this eight-day convention, we've seen some of the best in the world competing in over 20 different events. From sign spinning to b-boy dancing, flare bartending, yo-yo, finger tutting, esports, badminton, cornhole, and sepak takla. SkillCon is the World Juggling Federation's destination for their 10th annual series of juggling competitions. Get ready to see the best jugglers in the world square off against each other for the largest first place cash prize ever awarded in juggling competition history. The big story this year is Germany's Thomas Dietz coming out of retirement after six years. He was the undefeated overall champion four years in a row from 2005 to 2008. Does he still have what it takes now at 32 years old? He's up against the 2012 overall champ, Doug Sayers, and the 2013 champ, Jonah Bothinick Greenhouse, the youngest overall champ in history at just 14 years old, now 15. Neither of these overall champions have ever competed against each other, so this is going to be a battle of champions. up in the five ball short program, Thomas Dietz. I love the fact that uh, he can be that good and that sloppy. This is Jonah Botman at Greenhouse. Look at how smooth his throws his are. His form is perfect. Doug has the most difficult and never ending sequences of connections I've ever seen. Yeah, right in the middle of the connection, he did a 360. Just to show the connection was too easy for him. You know, I'm, I've told you this before, Jason, but I don't like 360s. I think, I think they're not part of the juggling. Here's Christian Houseshield. He's already juggling seven clubs better than most, and at 17 years old, that is an accomplishment. Yeah, at, at 60, that's an accomplishment. <laughs> His tricks look the best to me. Doug Sayers just might become the first person in history to defeat Thomas Dietz. 3F360 three in a full reverse and back to a full reverse. Look at those flat Whoa. throws. I have never seen anybody do that. Back crosses with rings. When Thomas is juggling, you know it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> From SkillCon at the soon-to-be-imploded Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, an incredible eight days of skills and events and the first ever $7,000 prize being awarded to a juggler. Be on the lookout for combat juggling, the most deadly juggling you'll ever see. This is the sport of combat juggling, an aggressive form of object manipulation combined with debilitating attacks. Each player must maintain control over three clubs at all times. In sumo combat, the objective is to destroy your opponent by slashing their clubs to the ground or shoving them out of the sumo circle. In breach, 30 clubs are in motion at the start of each round, but only one player needs to maintain control until they reach the breach zone. Here is Sayers trying to lock up the arm of Ben Thompson on the right as two of his own clubs trying to steal now. Two-point advantage, 14 parallels. You know, the temptation to just smash the other guy in the face must be overwhelming. Quick attempt by Josh Horton. Horton dove in. Lauga Benjaminson was waiting for him. Four consecutive points now for Team Intel in yellow. Lauga Benjaminson, who had six in a row. Last time Team Parallel scored was with Lauga in the middle. Lauga grabbing for Schmeisner's club, not able to get it. Schmeisner diving in with the right hand and loses one of his own as Lauga goes down to a knee and stays in for Parallel. Big hat move there. What a play by Joe Showers. That is an aggressive move up the court by Joe Showers. Lauga Benjaminson waiting on defense. He has been defensive force today for Team Parallels. And here comes Schmeisner with plenty of room cleared. Benjaminson with a last second attempt. Still a handful of active defenders for Team Intel. Making life difficult for Dominic Harant. A strong move up the right side. Harant in trouble. A battle now between Schmeisner and Benjaminson. Look at Noah just destroying people. And I think he just took out three people all by himself. The Las Vegas Open Yo-Yo Championship brought top players from North America to compete for a seed in the semifinals. The Dexterity Dance League brought the best tutting style dancers from around the world to compete and learn at SkillCon. 11 states from California to Florida were represented in the sport of cornhole. The Las Vegas Badminton Club organized two days of exhibition matches. SkillCon also showcased the mind-blowing sport of Sepak Takra to the United States for the first time. If you thought juggling was a bit niche, well, it's probably still the nichiest.